Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hello. Good evening, good evening Carmen. Evening, hello. Good, good evening. evening. Hello, Sylvia. Good evening. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Gerson. Hello, hello Meledis. Hello, Rosa. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thanks. Bye. Very good. Evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Roberto. Thank you. Okay. Um, I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What did we talk about? What did we discuss? What do you remember about the previous class? We talk about part, part, part of the body. Mm -hmm. Parts of the body. Can you give me some examples of what parts of the body you remember? Elbow, hand, elbow, hand, head, head mouth, 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 neck, shoulder, neck, shoulders, ears, nose, oops, nose. Okay. All right. Very good. And uh, what information do you remember about a uh, have? noun and feel adjectives. What do you remember about that? I remember the conversation. Home. I feel homesick. I, I feel homesick. So at this moment, let me have two volunteers. I would like two volunteers. I'm going to share my screen and I would like for us to read the conversation. Two volunteers. Hi. Two volunteers. Okay. Uh, Rosa, you are Brian. And Herson, you are Ken Kenichi. Ready, action. Action. Okay. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Um, um, I am not so go who and really what we what the matter where I have headache, 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 um, 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 I Back, 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 vacation. Mm, that would Maybe. be back ache, back ache, back ache, back ache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel it, feel a little homesick, 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 homesick. For Japan, the Chubao, but maybe I I can help me. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That the that grab idea. Thank Ryan. I feel it better already excellent very good everybody applause for rosa okay now we are going to have two volunteers uh <laughs> let me have uh saul you are going to be brian saul mm. is brian and carlos javier is going to be a Kennedy. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, teacher. Action. Yeah. Hi. I can see the ah uh, okay. Um hey Kenichi, how are you? Oh I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the mail? Oh, not so good, right. 
Well, I have a touchy and a backache. Headache, backache. Headache. Backache, backache. headache and backache. Headache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. A little. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thank you, Brian. I feel better already. Perfect. Excellent. Good job. Let me have two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Me gosh. All right. Gabriela and... Uh, ¿Quién fue la otra persona? Gabriela and... Marilyn. Gabriela and Marilyn. Gabriela, you are going to be... Brian. Marilyn, you are going to be... Munich. Kenrich. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, uh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and backache. Maybe you have flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Japanese. Free... Japanese. Japanese. Restaurant. Restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. All right. Excellent. Thank now, Silvia and Miledis. Silvia is Brian. Miledis is Kenich. Okay. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good at toilet. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a bad ass. Headache, backache, con K. Headache, backache. Headache, backache. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just, I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can, I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japan restaurant. Japanese. 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 Uh -huh. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Excellent. <laughs> All right, guys. It looks like um, everybody understands this conversation. It looks pretty easy. Um, what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to work in pairs and I want you to invent a similar conversation. Um, instead of saying, for example, a headache or backache, you can say cough, <coughs> cough. Or instead of saying Japan, you can say uh, San Miguel or La Union or, or whatever city you, you want to miss. Do you understand? Does, so, so, any, yeah. does anybody have any questions at this moment? No, teacher. Somebody no, have any questions say. at this moment? No. Okay. Who can explain to me what you are going to do? We are, me... going, we are going to invade a, dial, a similar dial, dialogue. Mm -hmm. like, dialogue. Yeah. Like uh, the last dialogue. Correct. Dialogue. Correct. A similar dialogue 
like this dialogue. Do you understand? You're going to write it in pairs and you are going to share it in the discussion forum. No le escuché bien, Coach. Perdón. Okay. You are going to write a similar conversation like this one. Similar conversation like this one. And you are going to write it here in the discussion forum. You're going to put homesick, home sick conversation. And you're going to write it like this, right? For example, I can say R, that's me. Uh, hey, uh, Sylvia, how are you? All right, and then Sylvia responds, not so good. And then Mr. Santos responds, really? Why? And then Sylvia responds, I don't feel too good. I don't feel too good. Okay. Similar like that about explaining a sickness. And then you're going to put enviar. And it's going to save it in the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Everybody's going to work in pairs. Hello. Hello. Let's go. Uh, let's go, Aide, Catherine, Sylvia. Hello, good evening. Good evening, let's go, let's go. Uh, Sylvia, you are working in pairs with uh, Maria Espinosa. Okay, thank you. Yes, tiene que darle click donde dice ingresar. Okay. Uh, hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. No, 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 I don't. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, voy a poner a Maria en el siete y a usted lo voy a poner en el seis. Vamos a ver. Okay, okay. ¿Tiene algún lugar en el que extrañe ir? Hey guys, aquí está Silvia. Okay. Hello, good evening. Hello, Silvia. Hello. Good evening. Ok. Ok, entonces. Todos. Sí. 
Ah, ¿y cómo se llama? Y, y para, o sea, uno hace todas las actividades de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero no le hacen evaluación de algún examen para ver si uno ha aprendido o algo así. Eh, ¿Cómo no? De hecho, sí, hay evaluación, pero ahí mismo en la plataforma. Creo que es el final de la... Al final de la sección, ahí aparece en meeting. Así aparece. Entonces, ese es en, digamos, el examen que ellos nos van a realizar, pero lo hace, digamos, en la plataforma, lo vamos haciendo. ¿Y cuándo y cuando lo hacemos? Eh, conforme usted va avanzando, con... permítame, voy a, ya le digo, permítame. No, o sea, yo me refiero a que las actividades, o sea, hay que irlas haciendo, ¿verdad? Um, sí, Caterine. That is correct. Yes, Catherine. Eso es correcto. Thank you. Es que yo no había estado en ningún módulo, entonces no entiendo... Por ejemplo, ¿cuándo vamos a hacer evaluación y cosas así? O sea, examen. Ah, ok. Todo está acá. Todo está acá. 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. Usted sigue todas las actividades. Ya cuando termine la sección 2, sigue la 3. Y, por ejemplo, el tiempo límite es antes de la, de la última clase, ¿verdad? That's right. That is correct. Ok. Después termina 2.3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.4, 3.10, 3.12. .10. Usted lo único que tiene que hacer es seguir esto aquí arriba. Y disculpe, y ahí... yo tengo una duda. Por ejemplo, yo que estudio en la universidad, ¿será que estos módulos me los validan? Ah, oh, ok. Sí. Y después, cuando usted ha terminado la sección 3, usted va a tomar el midterm exam. Cuando usted ya termine el midterm exam, usted sigue acá eh, todo el midterm exam. Termina el midterm exam. Ok, después se va... Después se va, espérame que está pensando la compra. A la 4.0, de ahí después del midterm exam va a la 4.0, 4.7, 4.8, 4.13, 14, 15, 16. De ahí va la 5, termina la 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.15. Y de ahí va el examen final, final exam. Aquí dice final exam. Sí, sí. Y de ahí hace el final exam. Espérame que Luis Monsano tiene pareja. Lo voy a poner en el 2. Solo tenemos un intento para hacer, ¿verdad? That's right. Y de allí termina A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Y cuando termina todo, dice eh, solicita certificado. Le aparece aquí arriba. Y that's it. And you're good to go. Ok, thank you. Of course. Tenía otra duda. Por ejemplo, en la universidad, ¿será que...? Para poderlo subir. Muy bien. 
Ahí también me voy a meter entonces a la plataforma. Ok. Heidi, Catherine, Luis, are you finished? Uh, no sé si está bien. I'm going to help you. Voy a ir a ayudarte con el with the job home, con el trabajo de la casa. Maybe you feel better. Tal vez te sientes mejor. Uh, with the job, with the job home, eh, le está diciendo los que hacieres de la casa. Más o menos eso. eso. Uh, ok, sería house chores. House okay. chores. Ahí se lo mandé en un mensaje. Está bien, gracias. Uh -huh. Ahorita lo. Ya, yeah, me decís. Yo me decís. Because I have the headache. Dolor de cabeza. Ya, yo te digo. Take some, take some algo. Sí, está perro, está bueno. Y ve. Ok. Ajá. Así. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Así uh -huh. okay. Si querés, lo. Lo. Pronunciamos, empieza. Hi, what's new? Hi. I'm not good. I feel sick. And you? I'm fine. Why are you sick? Because I have the headache. All right. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. Share your conversation with the class. Two volunteers. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Luis. Go ahead, Luis. The teacher. Yes, go ahead, Luis. Luis, who's your partner? Oh, perdimos a Luis. ¿Dónde está Luis? Luis. Ah, por acá estoy, teacher, por acá estoy. Okay, Luis, ¿quién es tu pareja? Eh... La verdad, yo acabo de ingresar. Ah, ok. Vamos a trabajar con alguien que ya hizo la actividad. Eh, ¿Quién hizo la actividad? Can Car I, teacher? Carlos, levantó la mano. Carlos. Yes, teacher. ¿Quién era su pareja? Roberto. All right. Carlos, Javier, and Roberto. Action. Hi, Carlos. How are you? Teacher, una pregunta. Uh, cuando terminen okay. los muchachos de practicar, le hacemos las preguntas, ¿sí? Ok, sorry. Ok. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, Roberto. Carlos, sorry. No, 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 no. 
Hi, Carlos. Oh, hey, Carlos. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm not so good. Really? Why? Well, I have to for I take off. Oh, maybe you have the flu. Mm -hmm. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for the beach. <laughs> that too bad. El tungo. Maybe I can help. Uh, let's have dinner at the Malecon. That's a great idea. Thanks, Robert. All right. Good job, gentlemen. Uh, okay, Aide, what is your question? La conversación que estamos actual es la que aparece, hey. Kimichi o la que enviaron. Uh, esta es la que está en el 2.3. No, no esa, esa conversación es la que hicimos con mis compañeros. Con mis compañeros y la mandé para que ellas la vieran, lo que había escrito. Ah, está en, ah. sí. This one right here. No, pues eso, eso era, teacher. Oh. Ok, let sí. me. Thank you. Let me have another two volunteers. Come. Two. All right, Marilyn Cortez, levantó la mano. Marilyn, ¿quién es su pareja? Me, teacher. Carmen, Carmen y Silvia. Carmen y Silvia. Okay, it's a trio. Okay, yes. ready, action. Hi, good evening, Carmen. How are you? I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and backache. But it is not COVID? No, yesterday I worked very hard. Yes, yesterday we worked very hard. Would you like to go to spend a day of relaxation? Yes, I need a day to rest. A day to Me rest. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Perfect. Excellent <laughs> pronunciation. Okay, Thank guys. Uh, I know everybody wants to participate, but we have to continue. Uh, at this moment, any questions? Anybody? No. At this moment, questions, anybody? Okay. No. Now for the next activity, I would like for us to look at 2.4 knowledge check. Yeah. On this activity, you're going to listen to the audio. Page 80, exercise four, listening. I have a headache. Part conversation a. number one. Listen to the conversations. Head, Where neck, do these people hurt? throat. Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. All right. Which answer is correct? Head and throat. Head, Head and throat. Okay. No. So you're going to do two, three, four, four. Only four. You have five minutes. Five minutes. You're going to do this activity in pairs. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Is everybody ready? Any questions? We are ready. Any questions? Does anybody have no any question. questions? Okay. No let's, question. Let's go.
uh, the words is in the first conversation the exercise is in the first conversation the the right answer are head and throat head and throat yes yes, yes. in the second con in the in the second conversation Mason. yes back and elbow back or arms back and elbow okay yeah. right now i'm gonna hear the conversation number three okay yeah feel better okay right now i'm two i'm hearing the conversation Ow. oh my gosh are you okay allison uh not really my back and my elbow feel terrible ouch can you stand up i think so okay in the in the third conversation the right answer is tooth is is tooth tooth it tooth happens. yes 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 he he say i'm have a sick throat okay and the Teacher, I am alone. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Morning. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, girls. Do you do you finish the homework? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Roberto. Okay. You're welcome. Teacher. We're finished. First is hand and throat. Really? Head, head <laughs> and throat. Yes. The second.
All right, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay, what's the answer for number two? Head, trunk. Hip, hip, back, or elbow? Head. Is back. Back and elbow. Back elbow. and elbow. Uh, what about number three? Two. 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 Mouth. Two. 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 Okay, number four? No, no, so no. Uh, two. Only, only two. two. Okay. Just two. Number four? Lip. Number four. Lip. 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 And, and eyes. eyes. Wrist eyes. and eyes. eyes. Okay. All right, wrist and eyes. Okay, now what I would like for us to do is look at the next section. And we're going to look at common medications. I would like for you to watch the video and take notes. No se escucha, teacher. Teacher, the video is freeze. Sorry. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, here the microphone is open. Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Gracias. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, guys. Now we are going to write five sentences and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this, this activity, share. In this activity, you're going to write five sentences in the discussion forum. You are going to write, for example, where it says, añade una discusión. Here, you're going to write Medicine. Medicine, for example, number one. You're going to follow the example. Whenever my leg hurts, I take an ibuprofen. You're going to give me five examples.
five examples. And then you're going to send it to the discussion forum. Any questions? Teacher, ¿cómo, cómo decimos eh, padecimiento como eh, ardor en los ojos? Por ah, ardor en los ojos, you can say itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Another question? Insomnio. Insomnia. Mm -hmm. Another one? Another teacher, one? Yes, teacher. The difference between um, some, some medication, we are take some medication, but another another medication, necesitamos, por ejemplo, ponerlas en la piel. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo digo eso? Pues, cuando tengo un dolor muscular, me pongo ah, okay. muscle cream, por ejemplo. Uh, I rub muscle cream. I rub muscle cream. Rub. I rub muscle cream. That's correct, say, uh, muscle pain? You could say muscle pain, yes, or sore muscles. Okay, sore. When, I, when I ever have a muscle pain. You could say sore muscles, uh-huh. Or when I have sore muscles. Sore muscles. Y aplicar like the eyes droop. Oh, uh, you can I have sore, sore eyes. Oh, uh, you can say, um, I put on eye drops. Okay, so you're going to work in pairs for this activity. You will have five minutes. At this moment, do you have any questions? Teacher, Hi. I have a question. Yes. Uh, y si ya realizamos esta actividad en la plataforma, porque en mi caso ya lo hice, solo que no escribí cinco oraciones, sino que solamente tres. Ah, okay. Eh, puede irse donde dice editar. Usted se va a su sección. Eh, después aquí dice, trae tres puntitos. Dicen editar. Y ahí usted puede seguir escribiendo. Ah, y ok. Uh -huh. Y de ahí le das otra vez. Actualizar También. publicación. Ah. Y ahí ya le, ya le aparecen las que ya va a agregar. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Another question. Thank you for your question. Another question. Another question. No. Okay. Let's practice. No, Let's practice in pairs. que acabo de entrar a la sesión y este yes. no ahorita voy entrando no sé qué es lo que tenemos que hacer 
uh, writing the platform five sentences using medications. Is correct, teacher? Teacher. I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Hello? Teacher, sí, es que Hi. le comento a Marilyn Hi, eh, que ahorita voy entrando a la clase, mm -hmm. que vengo de trabajar, pero mm -hmm. no, no sé qué es lo que tenemos que hacer. Ah, ok. Eh, ahorita estamos trabajando la sección eh, 2.6, Vocabulary Common Medications. Eh, ¿Vio el video? ¿Pudo ver el video? Eh, sí. Ah, ok. So, va a escribir eh, oraciones, cinco oraciones, eh, como estas. Whenever I have a headache, I take an aspirin. Eh, cuando tengo dolor de cabeza, me tomo una aspirina. Eh, whenever I have a cold, cuando tengo una tos, eh, I take eh, Tylenol. For example, va a escribir cinco oraciones. Acá donde dice añade una nueva conversación. El título va a ser medicine. Medicine. Okay. Y de ahí lo va a escribir acá en las plataformas las cinco oraciones. Y de okay. ahí le va a dar enviar. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. Very, very good, very good. Ok, Nelly. Eh... Si quiere escribir las okay. pues decimos. Ok, ahorita. Ahorita, Marilyn. Hola. Vaya, ahorita. <ríe> Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ah, sin la U. Ah, que decía yo que se parecía. Es sin la U, solo call. <laughs> ah, ok. <laughs> Thank you. Ok, no problem. Ah, y como lo había escrito, como lo había escrito, creo que significa como poder, algo así. Como I call, yo puedo.
en la, en la plataforma en la 2.8. Escribiéndolo estoy ahorita. Porque es una conversación. Ah, ¿Cómo así? Bueno, acá aparece, pero no sé tú, eh, qué número vas tú en la plataforma. Eh, no, ahorita no están haciendo conversation. Ahorita están haciendo cinco oraciones utilizando la estructura whenever my leg hurts, I take okay. an ibuprofen. Ajá. Uh -huh. Whenever I have a headache, I take an aspirin. Eso estamos haciendo. Teacher, le digo mis oraciones a ver si están bien. Yes. I uplift cream for body pain. I took acetaminophen for a fever. Mm, Take ibuprofen for... No, no está usando la estructura especificada. La estructura es whenever I have a headache, cuando tengo dolor de cabeza, I take aspirin, tomo aspirina. Tiene oh. que estar esta estructura, whenever. Ok. Whenever I have Okay. Teacher, teacher, we have one question for you. Yes. Uh, neck pain? Mm -hmm. That's right. Neck or? pain, neck pain, neck pain. or oh, torticulis. Stiff neck. Stiff neck. Okay. Stiff, Stiff neck. neck. Yeah. Stiff neck. Uh, how neck. we pronounce it in English? Acetaminophen. Uh, acetaminophen doesn't exist in English. Um, you can say painkiller. Okay. Painkiller. Uh, or we can say acetaminophen. I think it's a brand. I don't know. Yes, Tylenol. Tylenol. That's another one. Tylenol. Um, you can say Advil. Okay. Advil. We can use the brand. Yeah, you could use the brand, and you understand what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, teacher. Yes. Let's go. Let me have uh, two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Hey, me, teacher. All right, Roberto. Okay. Um. I will, how many sentences? One, two, uh, five. five. Okay, five sentences. Whenever I have a cough, I take cough drop. <clears throat> Whenever I have itchy eyes, I put on eyes drop. Whenever I have sore muscle, I rub muscle cream. Muscles, muscles, muscles. Uh, not muscles, no, muscles. Muscles, okay. Thank you so much, teacher. Sure. Muscle. Whenever I have headache, I take aspirin. A headache. Headache. A headache. Okay. Whenever, Whenever I, I have, have a, a headache or headache, a headache. Headache, I take aspirin. Mm -hmm. Whenever I have sore throat, I take cough syrup. A sore throat. Okay. A sore throat. Whenever I have a sore throat, I take cough syrup. Uh, the last one, whenever I have a stomach ache, a stomach ache, mm -hmm. I take antacid. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah, that's all, teacher. All right, awesome. Um, go ahead, select somebody for me, Roberto, select somebody. Okay, my partner. Who uh, is Jimmy your partner? Torres. Okay, Jimmy Torres. Jimmy Torres.
Give me okay. your examples, please. Uh, whenever I have a flu, I take an uh, aspirin. An aspirin. An aspirin. aspirin. Mm, whenever I have a, a stomach pain. Stomach ache. Stomach, stomach ache. Ache. Mm -hmm. um, I take uh, acid. Antacid. An antacid. An antacid. Mm. Whenever I have uh, neck pain, mm -hmm. I take a uh, pomada. Poma. Uh, cream. I rub cream. I cream. I rub cream. I rub cream. I rub cream. Uh, uh, whenever I have a bucket, I take a um, Aspirina. Aspirin. I take aspirin. Aspirin. As, an aspirin. An aspirin. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, go ahead. Select somebody, Jimmy. Mm. Luis Monson. All right. Luis Monson. Let me hear your examples. Hello, hello. OK, creo que Luis Monzón no le funciona el audio. Uh, another participant, otro participante. Um, Mari. Ah, OK. All right. Paola. Ah, bueno, Paola. OK, go ahead, go ahead, Paola. Uh, whenever I have a stomach, I take a Anti-acid. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. I take an, no sé cómo, antiacido? ¿Cómo se dice antiacido? Anti-acid. Anti-acid. Correct. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. An aspirin. An aspirin. And aspirin. Whenever I have a bucket, I applique muscle cream. I rub, rub muscle cream. Rub muscle cream. Rub muscle cream. Mm -hmm. Whenever I have a burning ace, I ¿Cómo dijo? Ah, es que quiero decir aplicar. Rub. Rub. Rub ace drops. Ah, no. Ahí sería put on eye drops. Put on. Put on. Ace drops. Eye drops. Very good. Thank you. All right. Excellent, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finished for today's class. Congratulations. Good work, everybody. Please continue advancing on the platform, and we see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye. I love you all. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye.